Hey, welcome friends once again into this session of factorization of algebraic expressions. And uh, here is one question given to us. And the question is simplify x plus y whole cube minus x minus y whole cube minus 6y x square minus y square. So what should come to our mind the moment we see this question? One is the you know very usual method of using the identities, opening the brackets up, combining the like terms and get the simplified expression. That's one thing. What do I mean? So you have to you know open this term, open this term, open this term, right? Opening means you just deploy the uh, identities. What all identities? So a plus b whole cube is what? If you open this, you will get a cube plus 3a square b plus 3a b squared and plus b cube this is one way of doing it repeat the process for all the three terms this one this one and this one this one will be simply you know uh, multiplication of the terms that's it and then you club the like terms that is same power expressions together and then uh, find the simplified uh, expression that is one way but now that we have learned multiple other uh, identities it will be pertinent or let's say it will be very you know, important to understand whether we can use those identities as well. And one is definitely there is, the, you know, there are, you can see two cubes are there and two, you know, two terms where x square, y, x, y square kind of a setup is being seen. So can I write this like this? So this is x plus y whole cube. So whenever I see this, one thing which comes in my mind is can I convert it into a cube of a binomial expression or similar looking expressions, right? So, and now let me open these brackets up. So, or, or what you can do is, so what we can see here, here is that there is a cube term, a cube term, and there are certain terms which, you know, having multiple X and Y together, right? So, if I treat this as A cube and this as B cube and somehow get, you know, uh, these terms, 3A square and 3AB square term from this term, then I can reduce it to a cubic form. So how to go about it? So let's say if I treat A as X plus Y and if I treat B as X minus Y. So in the given expression, I have I have got A cube and B cube very easily, right? No problem. A cube is there, B cube is there. But what about, let's say, you know, A square B plus A B square and 3 and 3 like that. So what about this? So if you see this term will be 3a square if you want x plus y whole square times x minus y and this will be uh, 3x plus y and x minus y whole square. Isn't it? This is what we have. We have to get somehow. So if you look at this expression, what is it? You can take 3 common x plus y common and x minus y common from it both the terms have these three these this term common and with it within bracket what will be left out x plus y plus x minus y am i right yes and if the other way around that is if this was i had taken plus so if i take minus then what will happen this will become this simply and and here i would have got minus here I would have got minus, so expression would be 3x plus y, x minus y, and this term is nothing but 2y, see? And then this becomes 6y, and x plus y and x minus y, a minus b, a plus b form, x square minus y square, and surprisingly, this matches my, this expression here, okay? So that's what I wanted to do. So let's now solve it formally. I am writing it here. So I can write this as x plus y whole cubed minus 3, so 6y x square minus this thing, 6y x square minus y square can be written like this, isn't it? This is same to 6 times y x square minus y square. So hence this is, I can write 3 x plus y whole square x minus y then plus 3x plus y and x minus y whole squared and minus x minus y whole cube. Okay, so this 6, 6y x square minus y square, please remember, 
can be written like that and since there was a minus sign so hence i had to change the sign of so first it will be you know this minus and this will become plus because there was this minus sign over here i hope you got it if not then just you know just slow down the video pause the video look at the steps and then again come back and resume it okay so if this is satisfied then this looks like a this looks like a square b form this looks like a b square form and this looks like b cube form right so hence i can directly apply a cube a plus b or so this is minus so a minus b whole form whole cube so hence it will be x plus y and minus x minus y whole cube and this expansion is given above correct so if you see what will this be so x and x will go so 2y cube so it becomes it becomes 8y cube so simplification is simply 8y cube so how does algebra is coming into picture so uh, anyways we are doing algebra but then we use one particular methodology which is algebraic identities we used identities and we never uh, uh, open the brackets up and try to simplify it that, that's what the learning so hence the moment i saw two cubes and uh, a term like this i started thinking that hey it could be reduced into a uh, cube of a binomial form and then i don't need to do uh, the mechanical multiplication part of it and hence i could simplify it to 8y cube so if you open the brackets and solve it also you will get the same thing 8y cube 